two car bombs rocking Baghdad now. Baghdad. The attacks targeting luxury hotels frequented by Westerners. While just 70 miles from Iraq's capital, ISIS fighters are reportedly digging in in Ramadi. Back in Washington, D.C., the White House says nothing to see here. Don't worry. There is no doubt that when we have been able to effectively leverage coalition military air power in support of Iraqi security forces operations on the ground, that that has been a recipe for success. Oh, Mark Thiessen is a Fox News contributor, former chief presidential speechwriter for President George W. Bush. All military conflicts have setbacks, as he has put it. Uh, few are won instantly right off the bat, but to be told over and over again that this is a success when our lion eyes are showing us city after city that ISIS is taking, it, it, it really makes you question the messaging. Yeah, he's starting to resemble Baghdad Bob, uh, you know, from the, from the Iraq invasion, where he keeps saying, you know, there's no, there's no Americans in Baghdad. Uh, this is uh, what Josh Ernest is saying, and you know, when he was challenged on this today in the press briefing room, he actually said, are we going to light our hair on fire every time there is a setback against ISIS? Light our hair on fire? They're lighting people on fire in, in, in Iraq today. They are winning this war. And, you know, just, you're just showing right now car bombs in Baghdad. They're 80 miles outside of Baghdad because they've taken Ramadi, and that's a base of operations to attack Baghdad. Mm -hmm. We are losing this fight today. That, I think he said that the other day. But, and I want to correct myself because it was a former CIA uh, employee under President Bush who said that, mm -hmm. look, it's possible that ISIS could win here. And the, the question is, Mark, whether they are winning because you look at the city after city after city they've taken, and it, it looks like they're just amassing control. They're on the march. No, they are absolutely winning. I mean, look, the United Nations just reported that there's been a 70% spike in, in jihadists coming uh, into Iraq and other, uh, other theaters, mostly into Iraq, over the last nine months. What's happened over the last nine months? The Obama administration's bombing campaign. You know, Osama bin Laden famously said that when people look at the strong horse and the weak horse, they're attracted to the strong horse. Who looks like the strong horse in Iraq today? They would not only have they withstood our best, Barack Obama's best shot, our bombing campaign, they are advancing under that. They've taken Ramadi. They're, in, they're right outside Baghdad. And John McLaughlin, this former career CIA official, uh, pointed out today in the Washington Post presciently said that they could use that as a base to start launching bombings in Baghdad. And guess what? It's already starting to happen. That, and that is a real nightmare. Uh, they cannot lose Baghdad. I mean, that is just, you know, we've, we've spoken with the Bishop of Baghdad, and that, that just can't happen. Uh, Mark, thank you.